Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace, and before I even get into the video, I do want to say thank you to everyone who gave me, uh, who wished me a happy birthday last week. I know things have been a little slow on the channel. You're probably wondering what happened to me, but I was trying to post in between everything that was going on. Of course, last Tuesday was my birthday, and it was a busy day with my daughter's school starting up here next week, and uh, just me being busy at work. It just, it did, it, there was no time for me to do anything, and. So I was like, okay, you know, we'll just, I won't work on my birthday, why not? And then Thursday rolled around, and I'm not gonna lie, I got kinda lazy, and I just didn't feel like doing anything, and so I decided to take the week off. But I did try to keep up with things that were going on, kinda stop by the channel, say hi to people, you know, say thank you, whatever. Uh, but starting next week, hopefully, things can get back on track. Now, work is still a little busy, but I'm gonna try to do some stuff, like tonight I gotta work out at night. Um, I wanted to actually make the video outside, but there's like a crazy amount of cicadas making noise, so I couldn't really do that, so I'm stuck in the hot garage. But there's still a lot of really cool stuff I want to talk to you about. More specifically, what's been going on with the channel, what's coming up next, what happened on the track day, because I got the tire here. I actually ended up getting new tires as well. We'll talk about that as well. Um, I have a whole checklist here to make sure that I keep myself on track. I'm terrible at this stuff. Uh, first, I do want to say the giveaway for the Noble Series X radiator brace is done. That actually ended on my birthday last Tuesday. Uh, the person who won has been contacted. They did email back and so I will have that shipped out Monday. The next giveaway, I know what I'm going to be giving away. There's a really good chance it's probably going to be an intake. I haven't decided which one I'll be giving away yet and I don't know when I'll be giving that away but please continue to show me your support and I will do my best to give back as much as I can. Uh, intake is really fun. I am actually, what the goal that I have is I want to work with somebody who can provide me the item and also a, maybe a map to go along with it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to come up with something, but whatever it is, it's going to be useful for everybody. So again, the giveaway is done. So if you're looking for that, or you probably, if you haven't seen exactly what's been going on, it is now over. Uh, again, thank you for everybody for entering. We had, I had like 360 or 370 entries. Uh, which is very cool because that was actually more than the first giveaway. I had only like, I think 150 people enter that one. So there's more support. I think with a more uh, desirable item, I think more people would enter. So uh, next, the track day. So if you haven't seen my track day video, I'll post it somewhere over on the screen so you guys can go back and see exactly what happened. A lot of interesting things happened. Most notably, this tire, which was the front right tire, ended up giving me some issues and I don't <laughs> at that time, I didn't exactly know what ended up happening. Um, that's the fastest that I've actually gone on that track was around the bend. Uh, last year on my 2021 WRX was about like 84 or between 80 and 85 miles per hour, which to me, that was pretty scary, pretty fast. This year, I pushed the car way, way harder. I actually, the fastest I went around that bend was, um, and when I say bend, this is like the large oval on the outside was about 97 miles per hour. For the first three or four sessions, it was fine. But the last session, um, I what I believe happened is possibly the tire came off the rim for like, just like a hot second because immediately um, there was like, you could hear audible noises like something happened. And so we got off the track and we found that the tire was down like six PS. It was down to six PSI. Um, at that point, I just called it a day and I was like, you know, let me just get the car home. And to be honest, ever since the track day, I haven't really driven this that much. And I decided to finally upgrade the tires. So I actually, right now, I am running, and I'll show you, you can't see right now, but I am running some uh, Kumho's. People got mad at me, I said Kumho because that's just what I thought it was. I got some Kumho's Excess V730s, uh, 265 is what I ended up going with. And the reason I was like, you know what? These tires have been through a lot. Uh, they're starting to get a little worn down. They could, they probably could have still lasted me like another 10,000 miles or whatever, but because of this tire being all jacked up, and I think the reason why is there is a big chunk of the inside missing. Um, I'll post a, a little quick clip of it, but it didn't, it doesn't look good. It's just, it's just gone. And I think that is what was leading to a, an air leak because even when I came back from the track, um, every day or day and a half, I would be down almost all of the air and I would have to fill it up and I just kept, kept an eye on it. And so that's another reason why I didn't drive it. I didn't want to drive it until I got more tires, which I did and everything's fine, everything's great. 
there's still more work to be done before the car is ready to go again because I have another track day, same track, slightly different, mod uh, slightly different layout. The one I did last week or two weeks ago was the two mile layout. Now it's gonna be the 1.6 mile layout, which is the exact one I did last year. So this will be a great time for me to compare my, my, this car versus the 2021 WX because I do have a video on my channel of that track day and I'll link that as you guys can see what that looks like. Um, so this will be a great way for me to compare the two cars as apples and apples on the same track because I know exactly how far I pushed that car last year and I intend to push this one obviously further because now I do have better, t better tires. The braking situation, I did mention that I was trying to get Brembo's on the car. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Uh, Ecotech has been busy. Uh, Misha has been a little bit busy, so I haven't, you know, I haven't been bothering them as much. So chances are I'm probably not gonna have the Brembo's on the car, which kind of sucks, but somebody did mention um, being able to see this car with stock pads and comparing them to the EBC yellow pads, which I will be getting. Uh, shout out to Import Image Racing and Dane over there, who's actually holding a, he's actually holding a pair of uh, brakes, brake pads for me, which I'm very thankful because I couldn't find them anywhere else. Uh, so I'll probably order them either tomorrow or the day after so they can be here by the weekend so we can do the installation uh, because that track day is actually this coming Sunday, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's this coming Sunday. So I have some preparations to do. So I will be able to give like a fairly good impression of what it feels like to go on a track from an OE pad and the, pretty much the same exact track and almost the same exact turns to the EBC yellow pad. That should be a lot better. This car did perform pretty well. I was surprised how well the OE pads uh, performed, but this just, it'll be nice to be able to put those pads on there and get that done. Now, before I can even do that, I still have other things to do because I, Silvers did send me replacement end links because I jacked up my old ones. And these are the adjustable end links. I need to get this situation sorted out because right now I am running the stock end links and there is a problem with it. I'm still having some weird noise, but I think that's my fault because I don't believe that the sway bar is properly tensioned at this moment. So this uh, is going to be, all of this is gonna be a whole video because this needs to get sorted out. I do need to redo the alignment. I do need to add a little bit more camera on the front and the back, which I can now do because I got these SPC toe arms. Now these, I wasn't able to find these um, for the 2022 specifically, but the 2021 part number was exactly the same as the ones that were coming with the SPC control arms. Unfortunately, my control arms came without them or whatever package I bought was without the control arms. I didn't even know that existed. So this is, this toe arm is something that needs to go on so I can have proper alignment in the back. Um, I was messing around with the factory toe and it does come with, the SPC rear control arms did come with a slightly larger bushing for extending the toe, but I don't think that it was enough and I just wasn't gonna mess with it. I figured I'd just get this. Plus this is a lot easier for me to adjust on the fly as well. So this will be a video hopefully sometime this week. Um, if the brakes come in, I will throw the brakes in there as well. It'll just be one big track prep video. Um, I don't know when that, that happens. That could be Thursday, that could be Friday, that even could be Saturday. It just really depends. Um, besides that, what else do I have? That's the track day, the end link, the toe arms, that's really important. Oh, so the future of what's even happening. Um, I have been trying to decide what the next steps are for the car. Obviously, I wanna get the Bremos on there. I do know I wanna get the STI transmission swap soon-ish. I'm in no real hurry, I've said this before, uh, but after talking to Joey Montalto, he actually came up with a great point. He said what he did was he actually got his STI swap for a fairly decent price and then got his transmission out, which was still good, and sold it on eBay for a pretty good amount of money, which kind of helped him pay for the STI transmission. That's a very good idea. So I thank him for that. And I definitely suggest if you guys are looking into doing the STI swap, probably better to do it sooner rather than later so you can recoup some of the cost. Because as we all know, good STI transmissions are not cheap, especially if you want something to match the mileage of your car, you're probably gonna have to pay quite a bit. So I'm on the eye, I'm, I'm going to keep an eye out for everything that's going on. Ecotech is gonna be the one who will be helping me a, procure the transmission and then also help install the transmission. That will come with time. Um, as for everything else, I, I'm really finances are really what keeps me from doing some of the things that I wanna do, which is, 
why I'm going to try and focus on some of the other stuff that I haven't been able to do in a while, and that is vehicular acceleration testing. I know uh, people have asked me within the last month, like, yo, where's all like the racing videos? Where's the testing videos? Well, it's been hard because sometimes the car doesn't work, uh, sometimes it's been raining a lot, and then sometimes I just don't have the people to do it. Now, I've got a couple of people who wanna come and tr tr actually test their car against this just so that they can kind of have a baseline of what they're doing uh, because they don't, they don't have uh, the same access to a dyno that I do. So I already know the power that this car is making so they wanna test their car. Uh, it's a couple of Subarus and uh, a Charger. I know people have been asking for like more VA, more muscle cars. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying very hard. It's, it's, it seems really easy that I just go out and just like race somebody on the road, but it's, it's a lot more than that. You know, we have to make sure that the area is okay. We have to make sure there's nothing going on. You know, we wanna make sure we're safe. Uh, make sure people's timings align. That's another big deal because, you know, I can only go out certain times during the day and then, you know, it just being um, cognizant of other people's time as well. So that stuff is coming. I have been asked about E85 on this car. I am going to start working with both uh, D-Man and Graham on E85 stuff. I actually do have a map. I haven't messed with it yet uh, from D-Man from uh, just like trying out some of his E85 and I know Graham wants to start testing his. Um, just see how that goes. I think it's I think it's important for me to try and just kind of look at all the different things that are available, just so I can give you guys a really good uh, feedback about what you should go with. But I, at the end of the day, I don't really think it's going to matter who you go with when it comes to that. Everybody's going to have a different level of how they want to push the car. Uh, you look at somebody like STI Mikey, who I believe now finally has officially blown his motor at somewhere around like 650, 670 north horsepower. And uh, I believe they made it into 10s, 10 second car, I think. I gotta go back and look at his Instagram post, but um, I, that is something that did happen last week. I, I missed that. Um, people were reminding me that that's, that, that happened. Um, besides that, I'm just looking forward to driving the car more. You know, this track day is gonna be really good. We have a couple more autocross coming uh, within the next few months. I'm also going to be going to Subi Fest. Uh, Jolette, uh, Superfest Midwest in uh, Jolette, Illinois. That should be a lot of fun as well. I also am going to, I am, I am going to Superfest Daytona down in Florida, which is gonna be a long ass drive, but I'm gonna do it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, people were asking if I was coming to Boxer Fest. Unfortunately, it's the same day as my track day and that's a 14 hour drive for me. So um, I had to skip out on that, sorry guys. Next year, I will try to make it. Actually, next year, my goal is to actually drive to all of the coasts. Uh, I want to go up to Washington. I'm going to try to go to California. I'm going to try to go to Texas and I will try to make it up to the New England coast and Florida. Uh, it's going to be a lot of driving and I hope that by then the car is at a state where it, it looks really good. I Obviously, I want to do like graphics on it and all the other stuff, but you know, and you guys know, we're regular people. This stuff takes time and this stuff takes money and time I'm starting to run out of. It seems like I used to have a lot more time than money. And uh, now it seems like my time is dwindling as much as my money is dwindling as well. Uh, but I have a, another thing that I wanna try and do. Uh, some of you may or may not know, I do have a website where I do sell some merch. I'm trying to get better pictures on there uh, as a way for you guys to support me. I am going to turn on the memberships for YouTube soon. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I honestly don't know how to go about doing it. Um, the whole financial part of the channel has been difficult for me because I don't really I don't know how to value the things that I do in a way that makes sense and that is also fair for people. So, you know, I'm open to suggestions. So I'll try to get that sorted out probably sometime this week and just take feedback, see how you guys feel about it. Uh, besides that, that's all I really have. I look forward to getting back into the swing of things. I hope you guys uh, didn't mind me taking a quick little break, but tons more to come, especially more racing and more fun and just driving and experiencing the car. I really appreciate everybody coming along this journey with me. I really, really do. It's been very eye-opening. And one last thing, there's uh, three or four subscribers who always ask me, when am I gonna make a video about my camera setup and my guitar and uh, music playing? So I do wanna do that. It'll be just like a fun little video that I'm gonna put together where I'll take you guys on a little tour of my studio downstairs and show you how I get all the 360 footage and how do I get the audio to not be so bad. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update and I will see you in the next one. More of an insight on what happened on my track day.